I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. Now, yesterday for weekend Sundays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, we did an 80 series video about fixing the engine noise coming through my car radio. Turns out the internal ground was a little bit as your father, so we ran a new ground wire and Bob's your uncle problem solved. That made life a little easier, didn't it? At least I don't have to go looking for a leaking spark somewhere in the engine bay. And I managed to do it with no help. But it got me thinking. We all know old mate loves audio and he loves his car audio as well. We also know that with the VX Sahara in the ladle models of the 80, as well as the Lexus equivalent LX450, there were speakers in the front doors. I'm thinking about doing the same thing. One of the best four wheel drives ever made. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. It's 80 series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for a Monday morning and a um, bit of a preview of an upcoming project for the 80 series. Now, for the two or three of you out there that don't know about this, the 80 series came out, at least from the GXL point of view, with five speakers. Two in the dash at your knees, two in the back doors, and then a sub in the in the boot, for want of a better term. Now, Toyota were clever, all right, because their actual doors, so if you take the door liner off, there's actually a space there to put speakers in because the Sahara and the equivalent Lexus, aka LX450, we all know it, um, had front door speakers. Get where I'm going with this? What I'm thinking of doing is taking out those two four inch speakers I've got because they're starting to go a little bit funny. I don't know why they're Pioneer and it's the first time I've ever known this to happen with Pioneer speakers in my experience because generally I get a lot longer life out of a set of Pioneer speakers than the equivalent head unit sometimes. Now, I'm gonna take, the, take those speakers out all right. I'm going to take the existing Pioneer 6-inch speakers and move them forward and put those other two speakers I've got in the back doors. Now, you're probably going to sit there and say, well, that's all well and good, old mate, but why? I reckon it's a good project. Now, this week probably won't happen because the weather's going to be terrible and I sort of got to wait for the other half car to get back before I can do it because it'll take take a few hours to do it at the same time though i have got to find out whether or not the front wiring harness for the speakers is actually there um i don't believe i've got it in my car but then again toyota as we know would just run wiring harnesses and so that if you did want to do something to your 80 series maybe you know mock it up to say something like a marlin a vx a sahara or an lx450 it was a pretty easy job to do um, if the harness isn't there for the fronts, then we will create two new wiring harnesses, basically, for front left, front right. Feed it through the door, obviously, and do it that way. And so, um, that's what we're going to do. And I was sort of thinking, I've been sort of umming and ahhing about doing it for a while. And, um, after doing yesterday's car radio video, which, again, solved all the problems... I didn't need any help figuring that out, did I? Funny that. Um, what was I going to say? I yeah. After figuring out that, I thought, you know what? I think we're going to do it. I sort of. I've, I've mentioned in the past I'd like to do it, but after yesterday's video, I thought, you want to know something? I need a project on the eighty, specifically with a car radio, and so we are going to turn it at least. I mean, you can't turn that into a mock Sahara or a mock LX450 or a mock Marlin. It, you just, unless you're prepared to spend the money. But from the car radio point of view, at least from the speaker's point of view, yes, I can. Just obviously without the subwoofer. So I thought, you know what? We'll do it. 
okay it's it's an easy job all right we all know how to fit car radios we've all done it why do i say that because i've done it and the know-it-all experts have also done it on many occasions they know exactly how to do it right down to the independent impedances required on each speaker lead as well as z in and z out on the speaker loom and the power loom for that matter so now that i've got the other set of six inch speakers i'm like you want to know something we're going to do this and i'm going to enjoy it because i love my, it's audio obviously it's the 80 series which is fantastic and it's simple so and I've, I've got to get more wire just I'll, I'll see if i've got the circuit in the door i know the sahara and the lx450 definitely had it in the door i just don't know if mine has it it's possible it does but i don't know i'd have to figure it out so and that's easy to do simply get a multimeter and see whether you got ac voltage coming off the well or um not ac voltage um dc offset coming off the back side of the head unit you know straight away well we all know how to do dc offset know what all experts do it every day so um that's what we're going to do i'd like to get to it this week but with the weather we're experiencing over the over this week we may not get to it but um yeah we're gonna we're gonna put in we're gonna get rid look people say foreign speakers are good as as factory four inch replacements yes but if you can put two six inch speakers in your car you're going to be doing better now i did have one person suggest i put a couple of six by nines into the front doors that's a lot of work much easier to work with what you've got so there we go that's what we're going to be up to uh hopefully this week if not this weekend at some stage changing the speakers in the 80 series it does mean as i said i'll have to get an extra wire just in case i've got to run two new well you can't call them a harness but um front left front right speaker wires just in case i can't come off the um the existing factory loom or harness whatever you want to call it so there we go upcoming project on the 80 series stick around we'll see what else crops up through the day here have a good one